Hello everyone and welcome to Monday's market update. Since last Monday, we have observed a rise in the US dollar index, driven by policy expectations and positive economic indicators. Despite a minor setback on Friday, the dollar recovered by the end of the week. Market expectations for the potential Federal Reserve interest rate cut this year have shifted, with the first rate decrease now anticipated for December rather than June. For non-US currencies, robust economic data from Germany has tempered expectations of a rate cut for the euro, prompting hawkish sentiments within the central bank. However, the forecast for the June interest rate reduction remains unchanged. Regarding the Japanese yen, recent economic data has not provided the Bank of Japan with sufficient economic justification for further rate hikes, leading to a dollar recovery against the yen nearing the 160 level. For the Euro-USD market, volatility is expected with the potential changes in the Fed's rapid rate hike pace. The euro rebound is weaker compared to the other non-US currencies, making it less attractive for bulls. For GBPUSD, the first support this week is at 1.203, corresponding to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, and the second support is at 1.1970, corresponding to the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. Indicators, investors should remain vigilant for potential market stabilization around these support zones. Gold remains in a long-term bullish trend due to potential long-term inflation. Recently, the gold has performed well, but it's currently facing strong resistance at the 1-800 level, indicating a potential short-term downward correction. The general trend for gold remains bullish, with the first support identified at 1754, at second support identified at 1740. Investors should monitor these levels closely for potential rebound opportunities. For more information, visit our website and follow us on social media.